Okay, Mocha Don is right, is back with you. I am Mocha Don, and we're just going to do a quick update on a couple of things. Quickly, the weather that's coming here to um, Reno, Nevada. Uh, it's going to be rain and whatnot in Northern California, but at least the uh, eastern part of Nevada and the mountains along the Sierras is really going to get hit with a big blizzard. And we've got some updates on that. Plus, I wanted to talk to you about this run for the Senate leader replacement for Mitch McConnell. Thank God that guy's finally going. He's been a disaster the last few years because he's been old. The only thing I can think of I really liked about him was that he did stop Eric Garland from becoming Supreme Court justice. And now that we see what a corrupt individual Merrick Garland is and how utterly despicable he is, I think it's good that that happened. So I'll always be grateful for Mitch McConnell for doing that. But the fact of the matter is he's past his prime, entering Biden dementia territory, and it's time for him to go and we need to replace him with somebody. There's no reason to wait for November for this. I mean, we really should replace him now so the Senate can move forward. Real quick on the weather, we're going to get this big snow here. A little bit rare for us in March, but we're going to get apparently about three inches tonight and maybe up to eight inches uh, tomorrow night. And I bought a new toy this year. I bought a Snowjo electric 15 amp snowblower to blow my driveway, which in case you don't know, Reno, Nevada is about 4,580 feet. It does snow here. One of my boys lives north of me. He's not in the mountains by any means, but he's 300 feet higher. He gets <clears throat> quite a bit more snow than I do. I mean, I've enjoyed my, my snow Joe because I'm too old to shovel damn snow. There we go. There's my Snow Joe. Um, and that's my driveway. And you see it's got a cord. Uh, I got a 100-foot cord with it. And I got it on sale. The cord and the thing was about $289. Bucks. It's, it wouldn't work for Chicago winners. I went to high school with Rahm Emanuel, unfortunately. Uh, but it was a great school in uh, north suburbs of Chicago. And that really... Uh, that kind of snow, this thing would not handle. But it really does a good job on the little four or five inches of snow we got at the beginning of this month. What's in store for Reno Sparks? Well, you know, that's the picture from when you saw me snow blowing. That's the picture of the airport from the 4th of um, February. And the current update they have is that there's a blizzard warning for the Sierras. So if you're going skiing in Tahoe, you might want to already be there or get there pretty darn quick. They're expecting 10 feet of snow for elevations, or 6 to 10 feet of snow for elevations above 7,000 feet. Lake Tahoe sits right at about, I think it's just a hair under 6,000 feet, about 5,400, 5,500. All the mountaintops around there, the tops of all the ski resorts are well above 7,000 feet. So it'll make for great skiing. You just don't want to necessarily be driving on, on the passes. And the passes tend to be around 9,000 feet. It's a strong winter storm system moving into the Sierra. It's coming in today. It's hitting the Sierras right now. So it's a multi-day system. And I'm looking forward to it, like I said. Okay, let's talk for a minute about the replacement for Rhino Mitch McConnell. Because I've got to tell you, the days of the old Republican sort of get along with everybody you know, we're, we're professionals, you're professionals. Those days are long over. The Democrats have gone completely off the rails, and that means they need to be met with aggressive resistance. There should be no camaraderie. You can't be pals with the communist in the Democrat Party who serves with you. You can't do that. If, you, if you're doing that, then you're missing the entire point that these people want to strip you of your freedom, strip you of your constitutional rights, censor you, and control you. So Mitch McConnell uh, is leaving John Cornyn there. Senior senator from Texas was the rhino who reversed the party, uh, went along with the Democrats on gun control. And it's not that there was anything wrong with some of the basic ideas, but in the implementation, they strip you of your fourth, fifth, ninth, and fourteenth amendment rights. They, and they, they strip you of all of your due process rights. 
you can't have red flag laws that strip people of guns unless you could also incarcerate them. And to incarcerate people, you know, you arrest them for a crime. They have to have committed a crime. They go before a judge. The judge determines if there's prima facie evidence of a crime. Then the judge sets bail or he lets you go. And at that time, a judge can say, I'm willing to let you go or let you post bail and go if you agree to turn in your guns. Otherwise, we're going to keep you in jail until your trial. And you're entitled to a speedy trial within 90 days, typically. Under the red flag laws, an, an anonymous tip, a neighbor, a, 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 an estranged spouse, someone who hates you, can simply say you're a crazy person with guns. They come and take your guns first without any due process. And then you have to get a lawyer and sue to get your guns back. And there's, there's no rules around whether or not a judge has to give you your guns back. It's really bad. You, you imagine being stripped of your free speech rights or of your, of your right to be free, right? In order to be stripped of your rights, you essentially have to be in a position where they could otherwise hold you in jail. And that's not what this law does. This law gives you none of the rights you'd have in a criminal proceeding. There aren't any charges against you. So Mitch, Mitch McConnell, thank God he's going, but John Cornyn, uh, John Cornyn is not the guy. And they say some of the other people might go. John Barrasso, he's not bad. He's a senator in Wyoming, a very conservative guy. And he's been around a while, but he's not bad. John Thune, I think he's either North or South Dakota senator. I used to like this guy, but he has uh, kind of become part of the establishment, so I'm not a big fan. Ted Cruz might be worthwhile. I'm a little suspicious of Ted Cruz. I'm hoping we get someone in there uh, who's a little bit of fresh blood and who can, who can also do the difficult political job of herding cats, which is what that job is. It's herding cats. So let's see what else is going on in the news real quick. Oh, yeah, Barbara Lee, who is a criminal, gets an, gets an FEC complaint. Yeah, sure. By the way, the FEC investigated Trump on the payments to the stripper that his lawyer, Cohen, the perjurer, made and didn't find a problem. So his New York case is totally bogus. Let's talk about Gavin Newsom in California because Gavin Newsom is the disaster from hell. The guy is a nightmare. He's a complete scumbag. In case you, well, in case you don't know, Kimberly Guilfoyle was his ex-wife. He got caught cheating on his wife, Kimberly, with his campaign manager's wife. That's what a dirtbag this guy is. He's, he's, he's a, a communist in the sense that he's a, he, he, he's a megalomaniac. He wants complete power, and he doesn't give a damn what your rights are. He doesn't give a damn about the Constitution. The guy should be jailed, in my opinion, but we will see. Anyway, he's come under fire for allegedly pushing to exempt a chain of restaurant franchises owned by one of his most generous donors. Well, what a surprise. That's what the, that's what the Democrats and the communists always do. It's rules for thee, but not for me kind of thing. And it's because he passed a fast food wage law 16 to $20 an hour, but he exempted his buddies. And he's a billionaire, right? Greg Flynn. This is not good. The guy should be, I mean, I can't believe he didn't get recalled, but, but he actually got effectively reelected in the recall. So I don't know, California, you get what you vote for. Anyway, thank you for coming to the show today. Just wanted to put a quick one out on the weather and a couple of topics I ran into. God bless. I'll get some more videos out by the weekend. And you have a terrific day. And please subscribe, <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe. We really need your help. Channel's a new channel. And we really, really, really need your help to um, get, us, get us going, get us the momentum we need to keep getting a conservative message out. Maybe you shouldn't subscribe if you're a radical leftist. But if you're a reasonable, responsible Democrat or conservative Republican, you should subscribe. We've got some interesting things coming up on the tyranny issue. Tyranny is something that should, should concern every American. 
So please link, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much, and God bless. You have a great day.